back. I am coming on today to do a layout for Minte Papers, and I am focusing on the basics. So my base will be this Minte Basics cardstock. It is in craft. It is a nice, nice heavy weight. So if you want to do mixed media, this is your moment. This stuff is the good good. I have that and I've pulled some papers so far from the Minte Papers Basics Books number 11 bokeh backgrounds. They are these gorgeous like light flecked kind of papers and I was thinking about it. I'm like I want to use this like so have to use that but I want to use a bunch of them. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of mixed media on my background, not a big deal. That will be fun. And I'm going to come in with large splatters is my plan to kind of replicate this vibe. And I'm going to pull out some of my handy dandy circle punches and do a bit of a circle-y background. So let me start. I've got a really large one. And it is, see, they're double-sided too, by the way. It's three and a half inch, so it's really big. I actually want a three inch as well. I just don't have one. So I really want to showcase that color, and I love this purple color. So let's make sure to get them in. And what I'm thinking is doing kind of a band design just with circles. I think it'll be fun. Let's bring in some pink to lighten it up just a little bit and then kind of just whatever right just going for it and then with my two inch circle punch I'm going to fill in a bunch of different sizes oh. but I do want to keep going with some contrast so that is rather important to me. Now, this is going to change a little bit as we go because I'm going to take it all off and do a little mixed media behind it. But I figured you would totally get where I was going with it. So I've got that. I need just a little bit more, but I do like the feel. Now, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to come in. Don't want the dark, dark, dark. I already have dark with my craft, so I was planning on doing a couple of things to lighten it up a little bit with some fun little mixed media, a couple of sprays or what have you. I think that would be the ticket for this situation. So I'm gonna punch up a couple more and I'll be right back with the mixed media bits. So it's slightly hard to see because some of my little mixed media box here is the same craft color. I'm gonna come in with right about here, just some really heavy splatty bits and this is just some mist from my stash. I'm going to come in with a gold mist from my stash as well as a white. And I'm going to let them dry while I'm working on the rest of my project. Now, I am planning on distressing all of my circles to give them a little bit of interest. And I will go ahead also and pop them up onto a little bit of dimensional adhesive. I think that will be super fun. Now next, I'm going to grab some chippies, and I've got these great banners. Let me show them to you in just a moment. I've got these chippies right here, and I think I'm going to see about adding a banner or two beneath my circles. I think that would be super, super fun. I mean, isn't this a great set? It's called Birthday. But the banners, you use them on whatever. This was a total celebration. I also have all of these great stars that would be super fun to use. I went ahead and hit this mixed media with some white mist as well. I'm going to put it aside to dry. So I've started to place a bunch of my circles down and I'm putting them right on top of my mixed media. You see there my chippies and it came out great with spraying some mist on them. So and I used both white and gold mist and I, I just could not believe how well the chippies took the color and it, it's nice and bright and opaque and all of those good things. So I'm going to try to get the rest of these circles on in some kind of way that's pleasing to the eye. 
I'm also going to tuck these little banner bits in in a couple of different places. I love the way the little wedding cake, well in this case it's a wedding cake, it was on a birthday set of chippies, but I went as full of wedding fun as I could come up with. So I went into my little 6x8 little book section and I found these gorgeous little floral bits that I thought would add to this layout. They had that really nice soft kind of wedding vibe as well. So I'm going to tuck them in to just a few places, making sure also to uh, add these little white and gold uh, stars on here. And oh, I am using these these different punches just to hold down some of my chipboard and get it glued on. I did go ahead and get into a few of my dies and I cut out some of these little leafy bits from the same paper as I used from the, uh, the circles that I have. I used the exact same paper to cut out little leafy bits. I'm going to tuck them in and it's just that little something I needed. They have kind of a really sweet, soft, lacy vibe to them. And that is this layout done. I hope you like what I came up with using mostly the new basics collection goodies that we have as well as this fab cardstock. Bye for now, friends.